When you go to a museum, you normally see exhibits curated by curators, but for the first time ever, Baltimore Museum of Art has a new exhibit guarding the art, which is the creation of the security staff. The guards were led through the entire curatorial process um, and collaborated with each department at every step of the way. Alex Dickin is a visitor services associate who worked in security at the time the exhibit was all coming together. A lot of the motivation for choosing the security department was because uh, the, the guards are the ones who uh, spend the most time with the artwork out of any department um, in the museum easily. Um, they're in these galleries all day. Um, and so it was, uh, it, it, there was an interesting opportunity to see uh, how that, um, that particular lens would translate into a curatorial project. How's the reception been so far? Um, it's been a very popular exhibition. Um, I work at the front desk, so um, a lot of the people who have been coming through have been coming specifically to see this, this gallery. Um, just because this has never been done before um, and it's, it's just such a unique experience. And with a background in art himself, Alex knew exactly what he wanted to contribute to the project. The work behind me is my selection. Um, it is uh, uh, Earthquake Late Afternoon by the artist Max Ernst. There are several motivations that different participants had. Uh, for their various selections. Um, personally, I wanted to choose an artist that I was familiar with, first of all, um, but also a work that hadn't been displayed very much in the museum's holdings. So there's a lot of uh, art that doesn't get displayed that is just kept in storage, um, and I was interested in selecting a work that was um, parallel to one that I was familiar with uh, that was already on display in the gallery, but that I had never seen in person before. A lot of uh, people who work in security have other artistic uh, out, outlets and interests um, that are completely separate from work and I think that this has just been valuable for that too. Including security officer Rob Kimpton, one of the 17 total co-curators. I went to grad school for museum studies from Johns Hopkins. So where is it sounds like a big departure for us where oh the you know approach the security team a lot of the security team just like Alex said had some experience and a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge about art as well. It's been great. I've just deepened my knowledge of art, of the art historical canon, and, and got to really figure out the kind of art that I'm drawn to. And what I love about what was curated too is that you do have people who are local from the DMV area and then international and they're all in the same space, the same exhibit because the curators are coming from different walks of life and, and different expertise and, and different likes as well. Did you feel a part of something, I guess, bigger when you were working with these other 16 people? Absolutely. It was, um, it's a really interesting dynamic when you get 16 other people in a room and you're all having this conversation, multiple voices vying for uh, attention. It can be muddled and it can get muddy, but when you're, when you're having these experiences, you get to really understand that you have the same goal, the same intentions, and it just really fuels the project and keeps it alive. And fuels the passion for the security team curators too. Is anyone tossing their badge away and going over to the curation side of things? Maybe someday, not yet, but it has been a um, valuable experience. The exhibit is free and runs through July 10th. Just go to artbma.org. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.